So this morning I was thinking, just thinking. It's it's one of those mornings where you just kind of sit there and you just you just think. And uh, I was thinking about, of all things, my finger, which yesterday, not yesterday, a couple days ago, I burned with a thing that was really hot, and so I have this mark on my finger, and all these dead skin cells are there, and it's terrible. And I was thinking, I was thinking, right? So I was thinking, how fast do skin cells multiply. Totally random thought. Don't know why I was thinking these things, but I was thinking them this morning. So I was I was going down this rabbit hole of like, you know, skin cells are really, really small. And, uh, you know, they, they multiply to fix your skin. They fix, they fix you. They just, they just do it. It's just how human, humans work. And uh, I was thinking about it and I was like, wonder how long it would take for skin cells to multiply to reach the moon. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna figure out today because I have no idea. So we're gonna do a little bit of research. We're gonna do a little bit of math. We're gonna figure out how long it would take <laughs> for skin cells to multiply to reach the moon. First of all, we need to figure out how big a skin cell is. So let's Google it. How big is a skin cell? About 30 micrometers. Okay, so we have 30 micrometers, right? So how many micrometers are in a meter? Right, so it's a million. That makes sense. I don't know those things. <laughs> so now we know this. So we know one meter is a million micrometers, which we, means one meter would be a million divided by 30 which is uh, 33,333 skin cells. Let's just round it to that. So 33,333 3, skin cells are in one meter. Cool, how many meters is it to the moon? So the moon, let's, let's uh, okay, so it goes, there's two different points that it comes to and it's about 40,000 kilometers in difference and then so, uh, on average, the distance, let's just do the average. Let's just do the average distance. It's 384,400 kilometers. I'm going to open up a document to write all these numbers down. <laughs> okay, so what do we got so far? So we've got one skin cell. Sin scale. So we got one skin cell equals 30 micrometers. Right, so this is too big. So one skin cell is 30 micrometers. What else do we got? We got one meter equals one million. I'm gonna put commas so we can see it better. Micro meters. Okay, that's good. How many meters? So that would that would mean so that's 33,333 skin cells in one meter. So then we have the moon. The moon is 384,400 kilometers away from the Earth. On average, on average. So we're using the average. That's what we're gonna go with. So we all know, definitely didn't have to Google this, that one meter is 1,000, or one, wait. One, kilometer is 1000 meters yes we're using the imperial not the imperial the metric system get over it americans we're, we're, we're gonna do a fine because skin cells are measured in micrometers so we're just gonna we're just gonna go with that multiply that by a thousand so the moon is th on average on average 400 thousand so add the three zeros because math uh that's how many meters away from the earth okay so that's how far away the moon is from the earth now we need to figure out so a meter is a thousand micro or a million micrometers <laughs> so that many skin cells in one meter oh oh i gotta go big brain for this one okay so we gotta multiply 384 million four hundred thousand meters by 33,333 quick math okay i'm using the calculator. So that number, that big number, times 33333 three, 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 times that number is 
Can I turn it sideways and see all the zeros? Oh my gosh. What is what even is this number? The moon is 12 813 205 2200 thousand skin cells away from the earth because we all needed to know that <laughs> okay we're on a new page now which is all about time so if we start from one skin cell and we're just so th this is this is the concept is we're going to start with one skin cell right we start at one point uh, and then it's just going to multiply uh, and exponentially, I'm, I have to decide whether it's exponentially or just one at a time. I think it should be one at a time because that would make more sense scientifically because exponentially could go outwards as well. It doesn't just double and all of that. So we're just gonna do one at a time. <laughs> we're gonna see how many, how long it takes. This is so dumb. <laughs> how long does it take for a skin cell to divide? Usually cells will take between five and six hours to complete S phase. G2 is shorter. So. <laughs> Phases of the cell cycle. A typical year is illustrated to divide approximately every 24 hours. So it would take a day for each cell to divide and make a new one, and then that next one, would it divide immediately? Oh no, this is much more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. See, I could just leave it at 24 hours, but then I, I it's, it doesn't feel accurate. Like I need it to be, like I need it to be spot on. What are the, what are the phases? Let's, let's learn about the phases of cell cycles. I did not know that this is what we were gonna get into. <laughs> Okay, so G phase, oh, this is where the DNA splits. I remember this from high school now. I remember this. I, I also remember this from my biology class in college as well. So then M phase is where it splits. So it's gonna take 24 hours, but that's why, and that makes sense why like your, your skin would like heal faster is because like there's so many of those cells there because they're only what, 30 micrometers like we said? So, 24 hours. That's our number. I'm gonna leave it at 24 hours. I said I wasn't gonna leave it at 24 hours, and then I am because that feels accurate. So, cell cycle equals 24 hours. Great. So, 24 hours times that much would be however many, whatever that big long number is, days. So, it would take. 12,000, not 12,000, eight, okay. 813 billion, oh, that's 12 trillion. I think it's 12 trillion, right? That's trillion. 813 billion, 205 million, 200,000 days for cells to multiply enough to reach the moon. What is that in years? That's what we really want to know, right? That's uh, still a big number. Okay. It would take 35 billion 104,671 or 104 million 671,780 point eight two years for cells to multiply enough to reach the moon because we definitely needed to know that folks so then what is 0.82 years in days uh so that many years <laughs> and 299.3 days how many how many hours is 0.3 days 7.2 hours which means we need to go to minutes and 12 minutes for cells to multiply enough to reach the moon 
<laughs> okay, folks, well, there, <laughs> there is your answer. <laughs> we figured it out. It would take 35 billion, 104 million, 671,780 years, 299 days, 7 hours, and 12 minutes for cells to multiply enough to reach the moon. Because, of course, all of us needed to know that. That is something that was very crucial to the human uh, human existence. And um, I don't think anyone else knows this number except for us. Because who is stupid enough to research this? <laughs> Apparently me. So hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, it's going to take that long for my finger cells to just grow and reach the moon. That's how long it will take. Uh, you're all wonderful, subscribe if you're new, leave the likes, comment something, because I don't know why you should comment on this video, it was really random. Love you all, goodbye, see you in the next one. Ooh.